Yeah, I um, you know, I, but but you know, commentators, we don't know what we talk about, right? So <laughs> we we don't play the game. I don't. But getting into game number one here, we're gonna see a character that a lot of us are still unfamiliar with. It's gonna be Sora, who. <laughs> Uh, Sora's in the game, man. So, so, <laughs> Sora's in the game! Like, oh my god. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. New season of Apex. So we, we're kind of forced to deal with that. But we are forced to deal with uh, some incredible gameplay of Elvin City Kong versus Light Sora. How are you feeling about the way you approach it? Because we all know, historically, Banana beats Sora. Yes. How do you think of the funny nature and the weird a ways out of disadvantage that Sora has that he will approach the, uh, this time. So I feel like Sora's gonna try to uh, stay more grounded because Diddy Kong is so small and Sora's so quick it's gonna take a long time to get to him. Not only that, but if you, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen it in the past before, but um, you can sometimes either parry or just roll through his aerial attack because of how slow it is. That's true. Yeah, and also parrying is easily one of the biggest weaknesses that uh, that Sora has to deal with. I have just looked at the move incoming, like, there he is, and then parry, triple parry fair out of just did, uh, by accident. Mm -hmm. And the good players are going to do that all the time. So you have to be really good at mixing up your timing, which is what Light will do. But Nelvin is mixing him up on landing, because as soon as he caught him with that banana and then poked his little big-ass feet, uh, just, it's, <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> it's just, it's so difficult for him to touch the ground against someone like uh, Diddy Kong. Not only that, but Diddy Kong's going to have a great time with the kill confirm, seeing how Sora is extremely light. I believe he's about as light as Zelda. Oh, oh, ooh, I got scared. <laughs> I got I got scared for a second. Also, oh. why is that like wait, alright, hold up, jump coverage. So this is the, this is the, gonna be the big thing for Sora's to move on as they go, as the way light is playing. Holding advantage is so important. You get you get to cheat the system off stage. You get to kill, kill people at pretty much zero because of how deep you could go. But following people in center stage is gonna be so important with that burst range to keep that up. Right now getting command grab though, very, very even percent here. Um, wow! Okay! I, I love the mix-up with Side because uh, the way Side works, you never know if a second one's gonna come out or a first one's gonna mm -hmm. come out, so you kinda have to just read or like, it's, like have God like reaction. Yeah, and I think that actually it's like that he kinda uses it almost the same way you would use like Illusion. And I'm glad you pointed that out because you don't always have to go for those three. So you have to hold shield. Like if you don't hold shield and you're taking a hit and feeling a little stupid about it, you just gave up ledge control there. But the, with the way that Light is playing, it's working really well. I, yeah, I was about to say, you gotta watch out for Blazaka off stage. If you try to go challenge uh, Sora, He'll, de he'll follow you with it and maybe kill you with a down. Yeah. That's like, I, I'm just kind of curious about how he's at edgeguarding on um, Diddy, to be honest. Just because um, I know uh, it was sort of lined and directed about his edgeguarding skills, but Sora is kind of floaty. Of course, we've already talked about that, of course, but it makes it kind of hard for him to get to exactly where um, a person would be other than with a down. Yeah, exactly. Oh, ooh, okay. Just down throw, empty jump. Force the air dodge and then punish with dash attack. Where are you going? I nobody knows. <laughs> uh, this is still very scary because of the fact that if he can get hold, if he can get access to banana, then. Uh Bro, I just realized when he holds. Oh, oh okay. Up B is definitely killing it. That was so smart. Well, like, it, even if you, if you whip up B, you just side B back to the upside of the stage. And at worst, you take, like, a side B or you take, like, a run up down throw. Yeah. But um, the way that uh, Light played that was so good. And the thing I was gonna point out before was I forgot that he anytime he holds an arm uh, item he goes to like that Valform stance. Oh, so he's yeah. holding Valform like <laughs> with a banana. Like what <laughs> a banana confirmed the sword. Uh, go, here we go into the next game. What is it about? Uh, what is? What do you think is going to be the approach here for Nelvin to try and get himself back into the set? Well, one of the things I've noticed with Light, and I haven't really seen it too much with other uh, swords, is that he was getting the downtime to us smash a lot. Mm -hmm. And I want to see Nelvin try to avoid that more because it's kind of obvious, but swords that downtime is not only is it not safe, but it's kind of slow in fact as well. Yeah, it, it, no, I think you're right on the money with that. And uh, that move, like. It's, it, I think it's one of those moves that everybody's giving too much respect early on because they know that it can lead to the combo confirm. But it's, it, it is pretty easily noticeable when somebody's seeking right for those kill options to go for that down. So jump around it, get like a big downer punish on it, or a big F smash at the ledge, catching them jumping off of the ledge there, and that's gonna give Nelvin the first stock lead. And now right here uh, with the, uh, Banana, he can just pretty much guard the stage and keep him up on his toes because he doesn't have to commit anything, especially with the way Diddy plays. He's amazing at keeping that lead. Yeah, it, it, no, that's easily one of the biggest strengths that Melvin has as a player is him with the lead is so good. Now, Light doesn't really care too much about that as time goes on. He knows how to deal with people who have good defense like that, but Diddy Kong inherently has got that kid that punishes people for approaching too much, and then you couple that with Melvin's incredible play at holding a lead. 
and he just has him on stage. He hasn't really taken any damage uh, after taking him, after giving his shot away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, but the, oh my god, see, that, that's, I, I think, I, I think you take the throw there, because like, back throw doesn't kill you there, so holding, uh, holding ground is good, but three stocks up to one, this is looking pretty good for Nelvin to get himself back into the game. I've also noticed with Nelvin, um, <laughs> Uh, that a lot of times Sora will attack the shield and then uh, Light will land with Sora, but then he has to shield pretty much right after, so he'll just turn around and grab him. Yeah, and that, that's just good. That's really Kinda good. Like right there. Yeah, like it's like, what, what are you getting after that? Like, you can keep swinging and now I'm gonna punish you with something bigger. Or I'm gonna get this throw for free. He's getting his damage out where he needs it. I also love how often Delvin uses that, uh, that banana as a way to get back on stage. He uses it as a reversal. That's a stop, though. In, in, in. All right, I'm actually pretty. I, I'm, I'm kind of scared for no. I'm not gonna lie. Like you know, you know when you sense the energy shift in the air, like when you're watching the set. Yeah, I, I'm feeling that right now. I kind of feel like light is starting to get. A, all right, that, that banana trip might have saved Nelvin from the <laughs> from the fire. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> he's still going. Like this is why I was kind of getting a little scared. <laughs> Yeah, he's playing the he's just playing uh, neutral really well right now. Just with punishing, not getting hit too much and getting damage for sad. Okay, yeah, good job holding off on that up before he went too. Thunder gonna just get a miss at the ledge as well. Blizzarda into I think up smash their platform will uh it should be within range oh. to be able to kill. Falling up at a disadvantage at that point, I didn't think was gonna I didn't think that was gonna work. I thought that had too much startup, but that's game two going to Nelvin. Alright, so Light Sprite. It's game three. We're going. We're, we're, we're. He's staying with Sora. I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty. I'm, I'm willing to believe he's sticking with Sora. Uh, he, he's, you know, he said he wanted to, he wanted to get the time with the character. He wanted to practice with the character more. And, uh, he, I mean, he could just go, he could go, you know, Fox right now and end this because Diddy Kong hates Fox. But I think we're staying with the Sora. As we see the switch to Hollow Bastion for sure, we are definitely <laughs> staying with Sora. I love the Hall of Bastion save. I love uh, that it was just change in the last stock too. It's such a good way to do things. Not only that, but uh, Light actually wasn't <laughs> near the end. Light wasn't doing too bad either. It looks like he was catching on to something. No, no, he really was. Also, <laughs> that that's pretty funny. So he says, <laughs> so I have a Boston accent with the with the thunder gun. <laughs> hey man, look like or thunder th 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 thundaga. I, I don't know. I say thundaga. Okay. <laughs> I assume that's what it is. I, I don't know. I've always said it that way, so I've never been checked on it. And I'm going to write it wrong, because now that sounds funny to me. So here we go, getting into game number three here. With the counter pick to Hollow Bastion, how are you feeling about it? Like, it's, you have that FE distance, but the center stage platform. What do you think is in the head of Light, or is it just because he wanted to go to Hollow Bastion? Honestly, I think it, I think it's possibly just because he wants to go to Hollow Bastion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, um, I feel like it's part of it, too, because, like, you just gave Diddy Kong less room that he has to use the work to get in on you and force a ledge trap. Yeah. Uh, so, but it's also, you know, it, it Light likes off air resets on the platforms and such, so I think that might be part of it here, too. Maybe not having to work as hard for the PS2 platforms, just have that one singular one here. Or just the home field advantage with Hollow Bastion is still a very, very possible option. <laughs> I was I was also maybe thinking that, um, like you were saying with the, the platforms, you maybe can get a down into a smash mm -hmm. or lesser C, you might be able to get a side beam to another conversion if you ended on the first one. That actually might be it. All the off air is going to take. Actually, I like that because because that oh, the illusion of safety of that platform there, you try to monkey flip to that range because you don't want to try and go to ledge at that point take Light's ledge trap. The off air covers that. That could be a big part if it goes on, but we were talking about that uh, up smash. Nelvin's gonna be able to cover those two right back to even. And you know what? It probably connects better on this stage in Smashville because I think the platform is actually lower. Slightly lower, very slightly lower. Yeah. So it's not gonna be as hard to be able to connect on that. That's a big. That's like the only reason why people are not giving up Smashville entirely yet because it does have a very slight difference and it is slightly smaller width wise too. Okay, got the down. I also, um, I kind of want to see how he might be able to get, like, a ledge drop with any of Sora's boxes. Wow, that didn't freeze when he got a combo from him anyway. Yeah, there's actually pretty <laughs> sh decent shield pressure, too, because that's, like, a fake plus move. You sit there, you look at it, it's like, okay, I gotta swing out of this, right? But no, there's still a little bit lingering at the end, and by the time he touches the ground, he can, he can burst you. But now you're at the ranges where Light can find a short hop off air or a back air on a good jump. Now he's off stage, though. Now he's got to deal with Z-Drop. Actually, no, Nelvin doesn't really go for Z-Drop there, like, at all. Now I think about it. He just, he likes to hold leg. You might just like uh, the safeness of it because you know if you mess it up, then they just have stage or or even worse, you like die from messing mm -hmm. up or something like that. 
Oh, the fadeaway gonna be able to get out of there. This is actually this is this is super close. Like, like this is this is so <laughs> close. It's so close right now. No, the fireball stall. Uh, it, that's actually worked out very well. Cause oh, you're not gonna kill off the side yet. <laughs> oh my god, that's a difference too. The smash build and uh, smash build that would have been dead. Back oh, though back should throw. take it though. Oh, oh my god. that was really good di. That was right to the corner, almost taking him out. This is this is one up smash uh, punish from from Melvin back even though. Oh, and there we go. Last stock a piece, passing the four minute mark. Light gets himself a couple of hits, trying to find another one with single hit to get the uh, for some extra follow ups. It, it's this is where Sora struggles a little bit. Early percent combos are actually a little bit hard for him. But no, oh oh ooh, ooh, okay <laughs> okay. I was say we don't want it to end like that. <laughs> <laughs> Man. One thing I've noticed that's probably hard uh, with Sora 2 is he doesn't have snow confirms. It's just that, it, well, like I said before, Diddy is like so small and they usually come from a fair fair or a nair nair into mm -hmm. just like falling S -man or something of that nature. Yeah, short her Fox characters have always been an annoying product for Sorties. Like that's just been, uh, that's just a truth for the longest time. Oh, goes for the throw though, for, for throw, give him stage position. Oh. Almost jumps right into the Thundaga and now oh. gets him with the, oh wait, he doesn't go for a forward <laughs> smash or anything, he just goes for a down throw off of the banana. Tries to get him on the jump. Oh, uh, that was almost a down smash. I'm surprised that connected with uh, the invincibility on it, too. Yeah, and now he... Oh, my goodness. Okay, force him to go low. What's the reach? What's the option at ledge? Oh. Goes for Blizzaga. Oh, the late hit! hit. <laughs> Tries to get the back air. Doesn't cover anything on the jump away. Tries to, he's not trying to commit to, like, an up smash or anything because he's not trying to get punished. Oh, hard, that was he finds it. What incredible play. Light actually popped off a little bit for that one. That was... A <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Look at him. He's like he's like breathing up here. It, Bro, it's really close because all um all Melvin really needed was like maybe 25 more percent. Uh -huh. Just because of how light.